A chemist determines the measurements by measurements that 0.035 moles of hydrogen gas participate in a chemical reaction. Calculate the mass of hydrogen gas that participates. So here we're doing the same thing that we were doing in previous topics except our substance is a diatomic element. That will impact how we calculate molar mass. So uh, we are going from moles to grams this time. I know a molar mass, I mean I know a conversion factor that will allow me to convert from moles to grams. That conversion factor is again molar mass. So we need to find the molar mass of hydrogen gas. If I go to the periodic table, hydrogen is element number one and it has an atomic weight of 1.0079 AMUs. Okay. Now we have 0 0.035 moles of hydrogen gas, but hydrogen is one of the seven diatomic elements, meaning as it's found naturally in its most stable state, hydrogen gas has a chemical formula of actually H2, it's a molecule. The other diatomic elements, we'll list them here, we have hydrogen, and then we have nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're looking at hydrogen here. That's the correct chemical formula. So if we want the molar mass of molecular hydrogen, it's not going to be 1.0079 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of hydrogen as an atom. The molar mass of molecular hydrogen is going to be this times 2. So 1.0079 times 2 is going to give us 2.0158 grams per mole. So this is the molar mass we want to use. The reason, again, we want to use this molar mass is because it re represents the molar mass of the substance we actually have. This is diatomic hydrogen. This would be the molar mass of just monatomic hydrogen, just, just uh, regular hydrogen atoms. But as hydrogen is found, it exists as a molecule. So we had to take the atomic weight of hydrogen, a single hydrogen atom and multiply it times two to get the correct molar mass. So now that we have the correct molar mass, let's place it here as a conversion factor. One mole of H2 is uh, 2.0158 grams of H2. Moles of H2 cancels, we're left with grams. So 2.0158 times 0 0.035 gives us 0 0.070553 grams. H2. We're limited to two significant digits, so this would be 0 0.071 grams of H2.